Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm actually going to talk about a few products that I picked up um, through during the VIB sale, um, the Sephora, Sephora VIB sale. Um, I picked up a few things from Sephora. I picked up um, some Dose of Color goodies and then from Colourpop as well. Um, so if you guys wanna see what I got, you guys know I love makeup shopping. But in this haul, I didn't only just pick up makeup, I did pick up a few skincare items. So if you guys want to see what I got, then just keep so on watching. just to get things out of the way, I'm actually just going to start off with Colourpop. I did order two palettes. I know I don't need any more. I know. But um, I picked up, I've been wanting these So Jaded Kathleen Lights in Colourpop. It's this one, the packaging is so pretty. So I picked up this one right here and I picked up the Going Coconuts. These are fairly new eyeshadow palettes and I love, love, love their formula. Honestly, it's so good and it's so affordable. Uh, for these two palettes, I actually paid like, I think like $39, $40. Um, I know there's some discount codes. I'll try and leave some down below the ones that I've used. Um, but they're so pretty, you guys. Like if you guys, I'm already, I'm already thinking about like Christmas shopping. So these would be such good gifts, you know, if there's people, you know, that are trying to get into makeup and they need a good alternative. I know the Going Coconuts is a must, like for beginners. But this is actually, this is in collaboration with Kathleen Lights and um, like I said, it's fairly new. Like I'm in love with that gold right here, you know, like this green. It's just so pretty. I feel like everybody needs a palette like this. It's so freaking cute in person. It's really, really beautiful. So that's the first one I got. And then I did get the Going Coconuts. I wanted the bronzer, one of the bronzers. I can't remember which shade it was. But they sold out. Um, so I picked up just these two palettes. I haven't used them. I really want to use them. And like I said, I know this is like a basic neutral. I would definitely say this is neutral, not cool tones. But like this shade is so pretty. I feel like if you do freelancing and you do a lot of weddings, this is a go-to or even formal or prom. And then these transition shades are just so pretty. Like I said, if you have anybody that is beginning to do makeup, this has to be a go-to product. So those are out of the way. I those were the only things I got from Colourpop. Now moving on back up of the Dose of Color sponge. It just looks like this. I actually did my makeup today. So it just looks like this way. Um, it's so messed up already. I've used this to the core. Um, I love this sponge. I mean, it's so affordable com compared to Beauty Blender. I think this is like $12 or $14. I'm not sure, but it's so stinking good like honestly i know you there's other ones that are so cheap you know like elf and real techniques elf is a pretty good brand um but this i just needed a backup and it just looks just like this this is how it looks dry it's super like tiny i like this because you can really get into the inner corner of the eye and then it just says dose of colors in the bottom i don't know if you guys can see but it's super good i needed a backup um next thing i got is i actually already own a foundation from dose of colors but the thing is it was the wrong shade it looks way too i don't know like orangey toned pinky toned um so i think this is gonna be the shade i am um last time i got it right when it you know came out and i really wanted my hands on it so i literally just guessed it but honestly i did not guess it right a lot of people that i see on youtube though or even on instagram um they are around my shade and this is the shade 170 117 light medium this is how the packaging looks like it does come with a cap um this is how it looks like but it's i've heard nothing but good things like i said i did use um 116 and i'm actually just gonna use it you know mix it up in case you know i run out or just like on other people because i do sometimes you do makeup on other people so i think it's a good alternative to have just as a backup but it's a really good foundation when i would use that one it did last me a pretty good time and i'm very very oily i would say this is like a demi matte i know it's this medium to full coverage which i tr truly believe that 
So if you guys have been thinking about getting it, I definitely recommend it. Um, I'm gonna try and see if this is truly my color, but I'm pretty sure it will because I matched it with the foundation I usually wear and it matched pretty good. Um, and you guys know Dosa Color is literally my favorite brand ever. Like, that's my go-to brand. Um, another thing I picked up, it's the concealer. This, this is how the packaging looks like. It's so pretty and sleek. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, and this is how the actual packaging is. It's just like, kind of like a baby to the foundation. Um, like I said too, and literally Dose of Colors does not fail. Like that's my go-to brand. I cannot rave about it even more. I wish this was sponsored by them. I wish they would send me PR. Like Dose of Colors, if you're watching, I am literally a huge fan of them. Um, and they never fail me. Every product I've gotten from them is so freaking good. Products I got from Dose of Colors is the last thing of Dose of Colors is their new liquid lipsticks. I believe this is in collaboration with BoxyCharm. Um, but I did get this shade Charm, which is a mint, like a burgundy tone, perfect for fall. And the other one is Nude Mood, which you guys know, I love my nudes. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys so you guys can see what they look like. So I just swatched them for you guys. I know the lighting in here can be kind of rough, but this is Charm, and then this is Nude Mood. They are drying down, so I'm gonna let them dry down a little bit more and then that way you guys can see how they look so they are pretty dry now um like i said this is charm and then this is nude mood and i highly highly recommend those are colored liquid lipsticks they're so freaking good comfortable on the lips i don't know i can't rave about them anymore <laughs> okay enough of those of colors i'm actually going to move on to actually sephora i went i think the saturday before um it was the sale before the sale ended sorry um and i just picked up a few things it's mainly skincare but the first thing i'll just you know get is um the, this is a drunk elephant birthday gift my birthday was in october but um i didn't pick it up so they were nice enough to actually give it to me now even though it's november but i did get it comes with the Proteiny polypeptide cream and the jelly cleanser which is drunk elephant you guys know it's I'm pretty sure you guys know it's raved about everywhere on YouTube Instagram But their products are freaking good like I own a few things from them especially their their oils Oh my gosh, it's so freaking good. So I'm excited to finally try and dive into this right here My other holy grail skincare brand is Ole Henriksen. I cannot rave about it some more this is so freaking good it's their transforming walnut scrub exfoliates cleanses and purifies with walnut powder and ginseng extract i can't i'm butchering but i've actually this is my second bottle i just finished up my first it smells so good you can literally feel your skin so stinking soft after you wash this um, I don't exfoliate like every day of course because then it's gonna dry up your skin But I do exfoliate once I see that my skin needs like that extra Help I do exfoliate about once to two, two times a week. And like I said, this is so good You guys need to pick up some Ole Henriksen another Another product of Ole Henriksen is does this make my face look fat it's B P H A T. Um, it is a glow facial, instantly exfoliates and illuminates, um, and it's a facial mask. It fights all major signs of aging. Um, it's just so I've heard nothing but good things about this. This is my first time picking it up. I know it is fairly new, but you know all of my, you know, favorite YouTube girls, gurus, beauty influencers love this i know they probably get paid to say that but i know there's you know those true youtubers that you can literally they can sell you on things like i love sarai desi perkins those cup girls um they're my go-to girls i watch them all the time but i love sarai raves about ole henriksen which i tried ole henriksen already so i know their products are pretty good um but i've been wanting a mask and i know this one is super good i've heard about it I will let you guys know even I can probably do a 
my skincare, like what I use for my skincare. I know my skincare isn't the best, but I do try and hydrate my face, especially right now with this weather. It's just getting colder and colder, but I'm getting off track. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about this mask, so I'm excited to try that for sure. And now for the final product, I just picked up the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. You guys know Fenty is my go-to brand. I That's another brand that I hardly ever disappointed. Ever disappointed by Fenty Beauty. They are, I mean, I, I'm like, Fenty, here's all my money. Literally, I am obsessed with her as a person, you know, everything. I'm pretty sure everybody is obsessed with Rihanna. But look at this one bronzer how pretty it is it's gold sleek i needed a new bronzer because i am running really low on my i use the patrick star x um mac mac cosmetics oh my god i'm butchering um last summer he came out with a bronzer with them and i've actually been using it it's super good i love it it keeps you know my cheeks chiseled and everything but i did pick up this fenty Beauty. I don't know if you guys can see it is private island and instant warmth bronzer it is it doesn't say like for what skin color would it be but I think it's like light to medium I am fairly I wouldn't say white but I am very light skin I'm never medium to deep or anything like that um so I wanted to try out this one and I've heard pretty good things about private island which I'm pretty sure I would like it. So that was it, you guys. That's all the products I am hauling today. I didn't pick up too many crazy items just because I am balling on a budget. You know, I'm a college student and I do work. So I wanted to mainly pick up things that have been really catching my eye and that I actually needed. Um, skincare is like my number one thing right now. I really want to invest in skincare. I know... Um, a few things that obviously I wanted to treat myself with but if you guys like this haul please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel leave me comments down below I appreciate everybody that comes back and sees my channel I know I am really small still um, but I do plan to extend on my YouTube you know I want to keep making videos you know i actually really enjoy making videos it's so much fun and then editing them and then having so much feedback from you guys from instagram so many girls that are actually enjoying watching my videos which is crazy but i really appreciate all the love and support from each one of you guys trust me i see everything and i really do appreciate it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time